Well, we've got our appropriate incident management team vest on. Off to our briefing for our simulated emergency today. We'll be getting a briefing from our situation unit leader who with the help of the GIS tools will provide a very comprehensive view of what's occurring at the scene. Hi, my name is Brad Vizinski. I'm the Global Response Manager for BP. It's a pleasure to be speaking today a little bit about GIS and how we use it for emergency response from the front line all the way to the executive conference room. From a preparedness standpoint, one of the most common ways we use GIS is to import data about re response resources. For our fixed assets, this includes everything from fire apparatus to oil spill response equipment. And that may include not only our own, but our neighbors in terms of mutual aid, third-party contractors, uh, all the resources that may be av available at a time of a response. A quick example of using GIS for response that was a bit atypical was during Hurricane Harvey. As you know, the greater Houston area was significantly impacted by flooding during Hurricane Harvey. BP stood up an incident management team just outside Chicago. Embedded within our incident management team is our GIS team. Our GIS team was able to show the dexterity of the system during this response. They quickly built an app that we were able to get to our responders on the ground in Houston. We then engaged a third-party contractor. Over the days and weeks that followed, we were able to manage the third-party contractor, getting to our employees' homes, tracking the resources that were available, and making sure that our employees got back on their feet at their homes. It's a great example of using the GIS tools to support a response in an alternative way. And of course, from a response perspective with the current pandemic, we continue to utilize our GIS system on a daily basis for response. Layering in public data with respect to states and countries in terms of number of cases of COVID that are occurring, vaccinations that are being provided, countries that are open and closed, as well as our own in-house data, the GIS system and the GIS mapping allow us to stay on top of what's occurring around the world. A few final thoughts in closing around GIS when it comes to emergency response and crisis management. For us, I think there's a couple things that come into play here that are exceedingly important. First is having the platform in place in advance. We're able to preload data. We're able to have the system up and running in a moment's notice. The second key component for us in a response is having our GIS team members engaged in our teams and engaged in that response so that those experts can take advantage of using that data and presenting all of that data to the responders in such a way that we can be uh, highly effective in terms of our response. So thanks for the opportunity to share a little bit about GIS and emergency response and crisis management as we utilize it within BP.